Good afternoon, Saitlanders. How are you? We hope that you're well. Um, as I've said in the two previous videos, I'm going to make a whole series of really short videos, a long series of short videos, just touching on subjects that we aren't always able to cover. You know, there's just too much going on in these very dark times. And uh, I'm going to be looking at my phone a lot. I'm not going to be looking at the camera as I read information off my phone and try to to get out as many of these videos as, as we can and, and just kind of tick them off the list. Um, one thing I'd like to talk to you about is this bizarre turn of events in the past couple of days where a court case was won in the Pretoria High Court against the legality of the South African lockdown, which as you guys will know, is um, now the longest in the world and was always the most stringent in the world in many ways. And yet yesterday, David Makucha said that Gauteng, the Gauteng Premier's office or the legislature, but that Gauteng would be approaching the National Coronavirus Command Council to implement the lockdown even more strictly. And then Zweliam Kizir, Dr. Zweliam Kizir, the Minister of Health, said yesterday that the beds are full. The hospital beds available to handle the coronavirus pandemic are full, which is completely contrary to the intelligence that we are getting right out of those very hospitals. What we're hearing is the complete opposite. So who knows what's going on, but something fishy is going on. Um, it's a bit like them, uh, the, the, the cigarette story. It doesn't make any sense. It makes sense at no level. Um, and like the liquor story. You know, there was a sudden spike in crimes. We may have to go back to, to not selling liquor. Yeah, but you sold liquor before the pandemic. With presumably the same level of criminal behavior. It, a lot of this doesn't make sense. A lot of what they're saying doesn't make any sense. It would, like, it would be like me saying to you, 1 plus 1 equals 11. That doesn't make sense. Nothing that they say adds up. One moment the court is declaring it illegal and not even granting leave to appeal against the judgment on the majority of the points, in various points in the judgment. Those cannot even be appealed by the state. The next day, David Makucha is saying, we are going to, rather than relax the lockdown, re-intensify it. And the Minister of Health is saying, well, all the beds are used up. But we're being told from good sources, from doctors inside those hospitals, rubbish men. We, we heard a story, uh, Kuni told it, about a doctor whom, with whom he spoke, who told him, Kuni, that the doctor's anesthesiologist, the doctor is a surgeon, that the anesthesiologist with whom he works, so when they do an op, they wear their gowns and they work, the anesthesiologist refuses point blank to wear a COVID-19 mask. <clears throat> who knows what's going on it's bewildering and, and that's why we must address all of these topics um, get them out of the way put them out there so that people are aware of them and if they wish to they can watch the videos we're not looking for enormous numbers of hits and likes and this and that the next thing we just want to get the information out to those people 
who are ready to receive it. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.